Hey guys, uh, today I want to show you some little tricks and modifications you can do on your League of Legends client to improve your gameplay, like map awareness and just to see things better. These changes help me personally out a lot in my progress and my gameplay in overall. So I'm just gonna do a little video on it. Maybe it will help you too. Alright, first off, before we start at all, we want to back up our League of Legends. If something goes wrong, which can happen always, uh, you don't have to re uh, redownload the League of Legends folder, which is like really super annoying as it takes like ages to patch. Anyways, just move to your League of Legends folder, where you have saved it, and copy it. Right click on the entire folder, copy, and paste on another location. I did that already here and I renamed it to Backup League of Legends as we will use this this copy of the whole folder to try stuff out and yeah. So if you don't like it you can just go back to your old League of Legends and yeah, no sweat. Alright, so we want to create a shortcut of the LOL Launcher Admin exe. So we can exit it, uh, not exit, what the fuck access it anytime from our desktop. I will just name it to Backup League of Legends. Alright, so we have the shortcut, we have the backup, everything's alright. The next thing we want to do is to download the so-called RAF manager. I will paste the link in the description as always, so you guys don't have to search for it. Just enter the link, you will go to the official website of the creator. And just to show you that there is nothing nothing fishy going on. No, we don't very fast, as you can see, I did it already. And, oh wow, I fucked it up. Well, anyways, um, the files, you have to execute the files into a folder. It doesn't matter where it is, just all the files in one folder. And you will have these files here. You want to run everything as admin, just to make sure. We run the RAF manager and we get asked to locate our League of Legends. So we will use the backup League of Legends and we just click on the main folder and click yes. It will load very short and here it is, the RAF manager it's accessible. We are in game. As I said, these are very basic changes, so the most of you will already have done those, but let's just go over them. So in case we have everything done. The first thing we want to do is to set the minimap scale size on maximum. As you can see, it's much, much bigger. And it also has the positive effect if we do this change here. We set the chat on very small. If you are a guy like me who tends to look at the chat quite often, it's really it's really good if the chat is right here because like in the same move from your eye to the chat as into the minimap, so you don't have to look across like here and then here. It's like really good. So you can always check the minimap in the same look as you look at the chat. Or otherwise in the same time uh, in the same move as you look at the minimap, you can look at the chat. It's only positive in, in this in these terms. So the next thing, we want to set our interface to a size that is good for us to see and it saves space. So you have the whole overview of the game, of the team fights, of champions approaching that you wouldn't have if you would have it as this big and I don't think it's even necessary to have it this big because like you know you you aren't blind so this is perfectly fine so after we've done this we are mostly done for the interface changes the last thing I want to say is that I've seen some people have like strange bars going around here they like cover <coughs> they cover the the whole the whole area here and i really searched but i can't find the options to enable them i disabled them in like season season 1 and since then i didn't ever use them so 
if you find the option to disable those if you still have them you should definitely feel definitely disable them after we have our error if manager of open you want to start with the first thing that's increasing the size of the minimap icons of champions i want to point this out this is totally legal all right you cannot get banned for this this is everything is all right this is fine you make a right click somewhere it doesn't matter where just in this box here and select search all archives in this field you enter minimap this strange thing at the bottom fenrir.ini and you search for the first and there is only one all right so you open this one up you close the search box and you have several settings here these are basically the sizes and details on things on the minimap that get displayed on the minimap so we are for now only interested in the first thing that's champion if you want you can increase also the size of towers on the minimap or decrease it of destroyed towers of inhibitors of inhibitors destroyed of the barracks and yeah of the dead champion shop anything like literally anything you can change the size of it so we want to start off with setting the size of the champion let's say double size as you as you know the minimap icons of the champs are very small and when we increase the size of them they are basically very easy to see if you uh, keep track of the minimap while you are on lane we after we changed this year you can just delete it and edit it we click save to archive and then we select in the RAF manager I'm um, sorry uh, you select in the RAF manager pack you just click it once and everything is fine we see the changes on the size of the minimap icons of the champions are really significant like these icons are so big you can't really miss them i changed the size a little down i changed it to 64 in this case this is the size i use and prefer and yeah that's in my opinion the best size you can you can use it's not distracting in team fights and it's still big enough so you can see the enemies you are seeing here already a little change i did in front this was the uh, the size i changed on the gold you see it's much bigger and this is like a little psych psychology thing the i think it's much more rewarding to have this this big chunk of gold popping up than this, this pussy ass little bitch thing that you have on regular size so this really 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 keeps keeps you on on last hitting more accurately and carefully so this is really one of the of the best changes i think you can do in this thing so yeah let's get back to the to the rf manager so after we are done here we can just close this one and we are going on to the next files in this case the size of the in-game fonts as you saw already the gold and now we are going to change the sizes of damage text damage receive heal mana etc just everything you want to have changed for this you can close this up it's not really necessary we just right click again search all archives and we search for font description put xml Oh, I think I made a little mistake. Ah, here we go. So, we just open this one up. And then we search for this one. Here's in most things, it's not what and we open it up to. So, this is a, of a little complicated now. Well, not at all. It's, it's just a little hard to explain. Like so, here we have wine. the names of each type of font 
so we can see what we are changing. We have gold, special, I really don't know what special and uh, mana damage is, dodge is not in the game. So these are not, not, really, not really important. So we see here that these files have a little name for the size. This is for example right here 24 1 auto. So we have here this is like a little table on which the game orientates. So we have here the one I choose for gold 24 1 and here we have the characteristics of it, the details. And it's basically the font size 24 and the outline size 1. Outline size is just like the border of the number that's popping up. So if you have 1, it's a, it's a little border. If you have 2, it's a medium border. If you have 3, it's a big. If you have 4, it's huge. So you can just adjust your the sizes in this table from these that are existing here. You can theoretically add more of those but I didn't try it. If you want to try it you can do it and send me a message if it worked. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm not that good into this stuff so let's keep it this way. So I changed gold already to 40, uh, 24, 1. So let's just use this one for the other the other types we have here i tried around and if you use a um, a a value that is not in this table here there will just no text appear and this is what you saw in the last in the last clip why there was no damage why i did no damage so let's just um delete those and add these instead just copy and paste them every time let's see what I forgot mm, gold Yeah, I guess this is alright. So, let's save. And save again. And then we check out how it looks in-game. Now we are in-game. And we are going to see the results just in a second. I guess they are a little extreme as it's, it's really a huge font I chose. It's just to show you guys how it's working and that it's working. Oh well, not too big actually. Ah, I see. The damage is a little transparent. Not really that good to see. So this was basically it, just to show how it could look. And now I'm going to make some adjustments, trying to get back to what I had look looking like. And yeah, I'm going to check back to you guys in just a second. So here we are once again. I changed and optimized the stuff, so it looks good. And let's see how it goes. Oh, this is better. This is much better. Let's see how the damage and enemies looks. Very good, excellent. And the damage on us, very nice viewable. Level up also, very big and rewarding. So overall, I'm very satisfied. It's looking good. Everything went as planned. And yeah.
That's it so far. So, just the last few words from me at the end. I I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, and I, you know, I, I really, I really don't don't like to say this, but it's really hard to get some some recognition for what you do, and I feel like people don't really like like your videos, even if they if they help the people and stuff, you know, if you don't tell them. So, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I will I will keep doing videos like this, and. I have some more ideas for this. You can even like you you can change the in-game font of the game. So you can choose for example a military looking style for the text. I can change you can change the name of uh, the size of the names. Like you can change so much with this with this manager thing here. And if you guys like this video, then tell me in the comments if you want to do if you want me to do some more like stuff like this. And I will sure do it. Like it's really fun for me to do this stuff, and if I if I see you guys appreciate it and you like it, I'm really really excited to do some more. I hope you can forgive me my my mistakes in English and like when I when I stop talking or repeat stuff. Uh, sometimes it's you know I'm not a native speaker. It's pretty hard for me to <laughs> to adapt to this whole to this whole English speaking thing. So. Yeah, thank you anyways for watching and I hope to see you next time if I do some more.